This looks epic already. As you see here, we've been working to get this foundation ready to pour the cement for the past three, four weeks. Ground up projects take a while to build. We bought this property a year and a half ago, so we've been waiting with getting the plans ready and everything. And it does take a lot of time in the planning and the feasibility stage before you actually do the cement. When I see everybody here just pouring the cement and getting the foundation ready. A big part of the process can be just getting your site plans approved and getting your permits pulled. So we can start framing this building up and uh, this is a super exciting moment, guys. Cities like Los Angeles takes a year to get plans approved and then, you know, a few months to get permits pulled, whereas other states or other cities, you know, are much faster. So it really depends on where you're building. And, you know, the construction can go either really quickly or really slowly, depending on your experience as a builder. So you can throw more money into it. You can throw more bodies into it. The more people, obviously the faster it works, but the more you have to pay out. So it's all a trade-off. If you cut corners or you do a bad job building it, it's either not going to pass inspection or it's not going to be good quality. Construction is not easy. It's uh, very risky, but the reward is there for developers that are good at what they do. Whatever Yanni is doing, that's basically what ground up construction is. What's up? <laughs> this will be a three story building, 20 units, and it's all going to be for low income housing. We're trying to help the community. It's great for the community because it gives access to people who are priced out. Who can afford the high rents. And they can get assistance from the government to live in these affordable housing units. Starting very, very soon, Florida and other states, hopefully in the US, but this is the first one to come. What's really motivating me with this project it's for the first time in my life, I'm actually making money and working, not just to make money, not just for the money. It's actually to help people. Well, I'm connected with some organizations here in LA. I see and meet people on a daily basis, face to face. We're homeless. We're trying to, you know, get a job and get a residence address. I want to help those people. When I'm renting one of the units, I always ask them, what's the first thing you want to do when you come into the unit? And they all say the same exact thing. I want to take a shower. That makes me happy. Everything is going to be done. We're going to be ready to climb, you know, with like your framing and everything. And now that you tell me it's going to take only two days, three days to do, see the first floor. Sometimes, you know, we tend to just take things for granted because everything just comes to us. Yeah, we're working hard, we're doing things, but we shouldn't take for granted the small things. They look at the shower like this is like a million dollars. You asking for a million dollars, he just want a shower. Yes, I want to make money, I want to create wealth, but you know what, if I can help people at the same time, why not doing that? So that's a lot more desirable and interesting for me than anything else I have ever done in my life. All good? I just washed my pants. Is it the workman? Oh, I got dirty that day. <laughs> I know I need to get used to that. <laughs> of course. Wait, wait, I'm working out. She's gonna like it. She's Mexican. Hola, amigo. Amigo, como están? You try to be Mexican and everyone's trying to be Jewish. Very well. <laughs> I would call anyone Scarface, but this guy is a little bit more unique. I love Saul. He's the man. Did you want to see it? New plaster, new surface pool, new uh, cement. I actually like it, you know, it's small, but it's like a home field. He doesn't want to talk to me. He's too busy. <laughs> it was very challenging in the beginning because I didn't really know where to start, how to start, what's the first thing I need to do, what's the second, the third. They've been working so hard to put this together for the past three, four weeks, and now finally it's done. I got the right people to guide me through, so I'm gonna learn for the next building, the next project, because right now I have seven projects that's running through at the same time, and you see only one. This is Central, but then we have the Hoover one, we have in Chatsworth too, we have in Van Nuys, and we're buying more, we have in LA another one coming up. <laughs> yes, that's the best part of the video. I can't believe these guys, how they do that. Do you see how they walk in there? 
They're not afraid, oh my goodness. You're interested in you know, learning more about new construction loans, you know, we do offer them as a direct lender. If you were gonna choose a new construction lender, ideally you wanna choose a new construction lender that actually builds themselves. As you can see, our CEO Yanni is building his own projects. Guys, please come, I want you to see exactly what we're doing in this building. We are developers ourselves, we understand what developers want in a new construction lender, so that's why we're a great fit for developers. They started the framing here on the first floor probably two and a half weeks ago and I want to show you the layout of the buildings of what we do here because this is low income housing so the spaces are very very small let's talk about this one so here we're just going to do drop ceiling it's going to be eight feet right ten feet ten feet because normal is eight normal is eight eight and a half but this one is giving you ten feet it's like luxury affordable housing this is one unit one whole unit this is the entrance you're coming in, this is the space right here, like a studio, but then you enter right here for a one bedroom. Very, very small. Right here, there's gonna be the, the bathroom, the restroom, right here. So it's a small one bedroom, small bathroom, and then a little bit of space here with the kitchen over there. It's actually nice. They get all that. This is all 400 square feet, maybe 380 square feet. In order for these numbers to work, you know, they do need to make small units, but he's putting up 20 units. Most people in the low income housing, the people that need housing, they are singles and they're looking for small spaces just for them. It's not like family, it's not big apartment that they need, like two bedrooms. They need one bedroom and a studio, and that's exactly what we do here. I think this is great for affordable housing. People should be grateful that this is even available for them at a certain cost point. Low income people, nobody wants to be either homeless or bouncing between places to live. It's about getting a roof over your head, getting something to sleep on that's comfortable. This is the first floor, and the second floor is gonna be 10 feet? Yeah, the second feet. floor is 8 feet. 8 feet, standard 8 feet. 8 feet and 8 feet. It's going to be second and third floor. And then you're going to have the roof, which is going to be the access. So pretty much it's 8, 8, and 8. This one is the only one that's 14 feet. Three weeks, you're going to see this done completely. And then we're going to do the drywall. We're going to start doing the electricity, all the AC units, security, fire, uh, sprinklers. Anybody that's looking to do ground up construction, I mean, we do it. These are easy to qualify for as long as you have a little bit of experience. It's not a ton of paperwork. We don't ask for income documents. And here at HML, we like to walk you through the whole process. This guy is the DJ here. He's in charge of the music. He was putting the mariachi on all day long. There has to be Hispanic music all the time. Otherwise, nobody works. <laughs> Ground up is the way to go today. You know, everybody's building, fixing and flipping. A lot of people are building over five units, commercial buildings. And I think what Yanni's doing is great. Anybody who has the same idea as Yanni does, we can get it done for you. You coming back? After the framing. After the framing, it's on this section, we're ready to come over here. And every time they finish the floor, then you come in yeah, for a minute. Yes. All right, Lalo, appreciate it. Man. Okay. Thank you. Muchas gracias. And hopefully, we're going to do as many as we can for the next five years. Rub it up. If you need a ground up construction loan, please send us a message. Right now, we're doing between 80 to 90% loan to cost at 10 to 13% interest only on a 12 month term with no prepayment penalties. So if you need a ground up construction loan, please send us a message today. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you got value out of this, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Check out our show, The Hard Money Lions on YouTube here. And don't forget to rise it up.